While creating the world, God made its creation in such a complicated way that human beings are sweating to understand it. One of these creations is our solar system. Whenever we look at the night sky, we see twinkling stars in the sky which are millions of light years away from us. The closest thing that we see is our moon which is the satellite of the Earth. Sometimes we see some of the planets in our solar system. But only a few of us can recognize him. Are you one of those few people? Today's humans have started searching for such planets in which life is flourishing like Earth or there is any possibility of life. He has been successful in that to some extent. But at present it is not possible for humans to confirm it by going near those planets. Because humans do not have enough resources to reach there. For this reason, today we are rapidly exploring the planets, their moons, some dwarf planets and asteroids located in our solar system. This is giving us information about our origin and the way the solar system works. If you want to know about our solar system and the planets located in it, their moons, some dwarf planets and asteroids, then definitely watch this video completely. What are the solar systems? The solar system i.e. solar system is a group of planets and stars in which one or two stars orbit themselves or each other and those stars are orbited by the planets, their moons, dwarf planets and asteroids located in that solar system. Like in our solar system the Sun revolves around itself and the planets like Mercury, Venus, Earth along with their satellites revolve around the Sun. Our solar system consists of a total of eight planets, a large number of their satellites i.e. moons, some dwarf planets and a large number of meteorites. About 4.5 billion years ago, our solar system was born. And 99.86% of its total weight is in its center i.e. the Sun. With the help of gravitational force, stars, planets, their satellites and meteorites revolve around each other and due to this force, they do not deviate from their path. Gravitational force is the same because of which any object thrown in the sky on the Earth falls back to the Earth. Sun. There is a G-class star in the center of our solar system, around which the Earth and the rest of the planets revolve around it, we know this star by the name of Sun or Sun. 99.86% of the mass is of the center of our solar system i.e. Sun. Its diameter is 13,90,000 km. Our star is a huge ball of hydrogen and helium on which energy is generated due to nuclear fusion. This is the only source of energy in our solar system. Planets of our solar system and their information. There are a total of eight planets in our solar system, along with some dwarf planets. Whose names are going from the Sun to the outer side of the solar system, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Now let us take information about all these one by one. Mercury is the closest planet to our Sun and it is also the smallest planet in this solar system. Which takes 88 days to orbit the Sun. It completes its orbit around the Sun at a speed of 29 miles per second. The diameter of the planet Mercury is 4,880 kilometers. It is a terrestrial planet made of iron and zinc metal, it does not have any of its satellites. Due to being closest to the Sun, the temperature of this planet is 430 degrees and at night it comes down to 173 degrees. Venus. Venus is the second and sixth largest planet in the solar system. The total diameter of this planet is 12,103 kilometers and it is also a terrestrial planet. The temperature of this planet is 464 degrees. Despite being the second planet from the Sun, its temperature is the highest among the rest of the planets in the solar system. It completes one revolution of the Sun in 224.7 days. This planet is also called the sister of the Earth because its texture is almost similar to that of the Earth. Earth. Earth is the third planet in our solar system. It is a terrestrial planet and the only planet in the solar system that has life on it. Humans have the most information about the Earth among the rest of the planets because we live on it. Earth has one of its satellites which we know as Moon. Due to the presence of water on the Earth, it appears blue from the sky. It takes about 364 days to make one orbit around the Sun. The diameter of the Earth is 12,746 kilometers. Mars. Mars is the last terrestrial planet in our solar system. This planet is also known as the Red Planet. There are a lot of iron minerals on Mars which give red color to this planet. Mars takes 687 days to complete its orbit around the Sun. 
The conditions on this planet are almost similar to those of the Earth. A day on this is of 24 hours and along with it the seasons keep changing just like on Earth. It is believed that if humans settle on another planet, then the first planet would be Mars. Mars has a total of two satellites. Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet in the solar system and the largest by size. It is a gaseous planet made up of gas and other liquids. Its diameter is 1, 42,984 kilometers. The amount of hydrogen is the highest on this planet. We can see the planet, Jupiter, in the sky at night with open eyes. The planet Jupiter has four satellites. Saturn. Saturn is the second largest and sixth planet of our solar system. It has a total of eight satellites, of which Titan is the largest. This satellite is the location of the second possible human settlement in our solar system. Saturn is also a gaseous planet which takes about 29 years to complete one orbit around the Sun. A day on this planet is of 10.7 hours. Uranus. In 1781, Uranus was the first planet to be discovered with the help of a telescope. These planets are about four times larger than the original size of the Earth. This planet, which is seventh from the Sun, takes 84 years to complete one round of the Sun and a day on this planet as of 41 hours. It is also a gaseous planet on which hydrogen and helium are found in the main form. It is the coldest planet in our solar system with a temperature of minus 224 degrees Celsius. The planet Uranus has five satellites. Neptune. The last and most distant planet of our solar system is, Neptune. Being the most distant, it also takes the longest time to complete one revolution of the Sun. It completes its orbit around the Sun once in 164 years. The width of this planet is four times the width of the Earth. It is also a gaseous planet. Planet Neptune has one satellite. Apart from all these planets, there are many dwarf planets which revolve around the Sun, one of which is Pluto. Until a few years ago, Pluto was given the status of a planet. But when all these planets were analyzed by modern science, it was found that the size of Pluto is much smaller than the human estimate and since then it has been given the status of a dwarf planet. In our solar system, there is an area called asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, where millions of asteroids are orbiting the Sun. There is also a dwarf planet named Cyrus and some asteroids. However, it has not been fully studied till now. There is also a possibility that we may find some more dwarfs and asteroids in this asteroid belt. This was Solar System, essay on this topic and I hope you have liked the essay on Solar System and you will definitely share it with your friends. Like subscribe thank you for watching video.